Imagine a universe where the unknown lurks in the shadows, where every corner of space hides a deadly secret. Welcome to the world of the Alien franchise, a saga that has redefined sci-fi horror and kept audiences on the edge of their seats for decades. In this video, we'll take you on a thrilling journey through the main movies of the Alien series. From the terrifying first encounter in Alien, 1979, to the epic battles in Aliens, 1986, the dark twists of Alien 3, 1992, and the shocking revelations in Prometheus, 2012, and Alien Covenant, 2017. But that's not all. We'll uncover lesser-known facts and hidden details that even the most diehard fans might have missed. Why should you watch till the end? Because the Alien franchise is more than just a series of movies. It's a deep, intricate universe filled with suspense, drama, and unforgettable moments. So, buckle up and get ready for a deep dive into the Alien saga. Welcome to Movies Review. If you love exploring the depths of cinematic universes, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community of movie enthusiasts? Before we talk about the entire Alien franchise, let's start with the movie that began it all. Alien, 1979. This groundbreaking film, directed by Ridley Scott, introduced us to a universe of terror and suspense. The story begins with the commercial spaceship Nostromo on its return journey to Earth. The crew, led by Captain Dallas, is awakened from stasis to investigate a distress signal from a nearby moon. Little do they know, this mission will lead them to a horrifying discovery. Among the crew is Warrant Officer Ellen Ripley, played by Sigourney Weaver, whose character would become an iconic figure in sci-fi cinema. Alongside her are Captain Dallas, Navigator Lambert, Executive Officer Kane, Science Officer Ash, and Engineers Parker and Brett. As they explore the source of the signal, they find a derelict alien ship. Inside, Kane encounters a chamber filled with strange eggs. One of these eggs hatches, and a creature attaches itself to his face, marking the beginning of their nightmare. Back on the Nostromo, the creature, known as a facehugger, implants an embryo inside Kane. This embryo later bursts from his chest in a gruesome scene, revealing the deadly alien. The crew's survival struggle intensifies as the alien grows and begins hunting them one by one. Ripley's leadership and resilience come to the forefront as she battles the alien, ultimately leading to a tense and dramatic showdown. The film's blend of horror and sci-fi elements, along with its strong female protagonist, set a new standard for the genre. Before we talk about the later films in the Alien franchise, let's dive into Aliens, 1986, directed by James Cameron. This sequel takes the terror and action to a whole new level. The story picks up 57 years after the events of the first film. Ellen Ripley is rescued from deep space and learns that the planet where her crew first encountered the alien, LV-426, has been colonized. When contact with the colony is lost, Ripley reluctantly agrees to join a team of colonial marines sent to investigate. Introducing a new cast of characters, the colonial marines are a tough, battle-hardened group, led by Lieutenant Gorman and Sergeant Apone. Among them are Corporal Hicks, the wise-cracking Private Hudson, and the fierce Private Vasquez. Their mission quickly turns into a desperate fight for survival. As they explore the eerily silent colony, they discover a lone survivor, a young girl named Newt. Her presence adds an emotional depth to the story, as Ripley forms a protective bond with her. Newt's survival instincts and bravery become crucial as the team faces the alien threat. The Marines soon realize they are up against not just one alien, but an entire hive. The film ramps up the action with intense battles, showcasing the alien's terrifying speed and ferocity. Ripley's leadership and courage shine as she takes charge, determined to protect Newt and destroy the alien queen. One of the most iconic moments in the film is Ripley's showdown with the alien and queen, using a power loader exosuit. This climactic battle is a testament to her resilience and resourcefulness, solidifying her status as a legendary sci-fi heroine. Before we talk about the later installments, let's delve into Alien 3, 1992, directed by David Fincher. This film takes a darker and more introspective turn in the series. The story begins with Ripley's escape pod crash landing on Fiorina 161, a bleak and desolate prison planet. The facility is inhabited by male inmates with a history of violent crimes, adding a grim and tense atmosphere to the narrative. Ripley finds herself in a hostile environment where she must navigate the distrust of the prisoners and the warden. Key characters include Dylan, a spiritual leader among the inmates, and Clemens, the prison doctor who becomes Ripley's ally. As Ripley struggles to adapt, she discovers that an alien has also survived the crash and is now loose in the prison. This new breed of alien, born from a quadrupedal host, exhibits different behaviors and poses a unique threat to the inhabitants of Fiorina 161. This revelation adds a layer of destroy the creature. In a powerful and emotional climax, Ripley makes the ultimate sacrifice. She throws herself into a furnace, ensuring that the alien 
Yutanian queen inside her is destroyed and preventing the Wayland yutani Corporation from exploiting the creature. Her selfless act marks a poignant end to her journey, highlighting her unwavering resolve and bravery. Before we talk about the more recent entries in the Alien franchise, let's explore Alien Resurrection, 1997, directed by Jean-Pierre Jeunet. This film brings a unique twist to the series with its blend of horror and dark humor. The story is set 200 years after Ripley's death. Scientists aboard the spaceship USM Auriga have cloned her, hoping to extract the alien queen embryo she was carrying. This results in the creation of Ripley 8, a clone with enhanced strength and a psychic connection to the aliens. Enter the crew of the mercenary ship Betty, who are hired to deliver kidnapped humans to the Auriga for use as hosts for the aliens. Key characters include the tough and cynical Jonner, the mysterious Call, the resourceful Vries, and their leader, Elgin. Their arrival sets off a chain of events that leads to chaos and destruction. As the aliens inevitably escape containment, the crew of the Betty must team up with Ripley 8 to survive. One of the film's significant moments is the introduction of the hybrid alien, a grotesque creature born from the alien queen's mutated reproductive system. This hybrid poses a new and terrifying threat. The film's climax features a desperate escape from the spaceship, with Ripley 8 and the crew battling the hybrid alien and the swarming xenomorphs. Before we talk about the broader implications of the Alien franchise, let's delve into Alien Covenant 2017, directed by Ridley Scott. This film serves as both a sequel to Prometheus and a prequel to the original Alien series. The story follows the crew of the colony ship Covenant on a mission to establish a new human settlement on a distant planet. Their journey takes an unexpected turn when they receive a mysterious transmission from a nearby, seemingly habitable world. Key characters include Daniels, the ship's terraforming expert, Orem, the acting captain, Tennessee, the pilot, and Walter, an advanced synthetic android. Their mission of hope quickly turns into a nightmare as they explore the new planet. On the surface, they encounter David, the synthetic android from the Prometheus mission, who has been stranded on the planet for years. His return brings a sinister twist, as his experiments with the alien pathogen have led to the creation of new, deadly creatures known as Neomorphs. His interactions with Walter and the crew add layers of psychological horror to the film. The climax of Alien Covenant is a gripping battle for survival, as Daniels and Tennessee fight to escape the planet and the horrors it holds. The film's blend of action, horror, and philosophical questions about creation and destruction make it a compelling addition to the Alien saga. As we wrap up our journey through the Alien franchise, let's recap the main points we've covered. We started with the terrifying introduction of the Xenomorph in Alien, 1979, followed by the intense action and new characters in Aliens, 1986. We then explored the darker themes and Ripley's sacrifice in Alien 3, 1992, and the unique twists in Alien Resurrection, 1997. Finally, we delved into the philosophical and horror elements of Alien Covenant, 2017. The Alien franchise has left an indelible mark on pop culture, influencing countless films, books, and video games. Its blend of sci-fi and horror, along with its strong characters and unforgettable moments, continues to captivate audiences around the world. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What are your favorite moments from the Alien series? Which film do you think stands out the most? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Movies Review, for more deep dives into your favorite films. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.